Hello. Welcome to our channel. Long time no see. Long time no see. <laughs> that's, that's right. How they say in you? China? Yeah, especially me. <coughs> I was away and busy at work. Yeah. So today we are on a new adventure. It's um, in Baoding, a small um, touristic scene, mm. an old uh, lotus pond from 13th, 12th, 13th century, yeah. long time ago. And we're gonna look at it and see if we can learn more about it. I think on the internet you can't find too much. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna check it out now. Yeah, so and today it's uh, Saturday, I think Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it's for free, free entrance. Free entrance means a lot of people. <laughs> That's yeah. right. We'll, we'll take a look. Yeah, we're gonna take a look. So, where do you think we should start? Uh, let's. We can look at the sides, maybe. These and two then, sides, right? Two chambers. Or something. Yes. Oh, here's some information. No smoking. Okay. All right. Blah. Let's see, there is an, uh, what they are showing. All right, so from here... Third hall, fourth hall, many halls. Wow, that's really big. Mm. The second gate is what we are in front of, I guess. Yeah. Or the ex warting archway. Chinese translations are really strange most of the time. <laughs> yeah. The great hall, the second hall, the third hall, the fourth also Chinese descriptions of places like the first hospital, the second hospital, the normal university. The, fir the first, about the first uh, middle school, second first middle, middle school. school. Number my 59 middle yes, school. My translator is from the eighth or, or 13th middle school, stuff like that. <laughs> but they mean it really, number one is number one. Really? Yeah. yeah. Actually, I don't know exactly. Like. She said to me they took the system from the Soviets. Yeah. Like just okay, you know, like number. Then you need to build a new one, and then it's gonna be the 14th. Yeah. Anyway, so we have the great hall. Yeah. Uh, the second hall, the third hall, and the fourth hall. I think we can start with the side. Yeah. Let's just. Okay. Look it up. What we can yeah. find there. Yeah. Well, it's not so many people like the holidays. Mm -hmm. And the holidays is really like flooded. Yeah. By people. Oh wow, that's, that's really beautiful. Yeah, so the koi fish in the Chinese culture is really like... Uh, yeah, the carp, right? Koi, I think koi is a Japanese breed. Are uh, they called goldfish or what they call it? I don't know, maybe it's goldfish, I don't know. But yeah, I've seen them also in the, in the temples, the Buddhist temples and stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they they bring wealth, you know, water mm. in the house or at the entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah the fish. We had this discussion fish. before with Anna. It yeah. means wealth. Oh wow. They mean wealth. Here we continue something. Yeah. Well, I I studied Chinese, but I really. Is this old Chinese? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's new Chinese. Ah, they they are old Chinese, so I failed to read it. Well, at least there's like an exhibition, an explanation of yeah. how it used to be throughout time, right? Mm. Baudin was a very important city. Yeah, it was. Yeah, we continue. Look at the granny. Yes. I'm sure they 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 watch it through different periods of times. Yeah. Yeah, we 
can go out through this. Wow, look at this stuff. It's nice. The view. Yeah, impressive. Wow. I like these um, installations where you have this like, I don't know how to call this kind of effects, but like visuals and projections and there's a, apparently in the US they have a, some, in, in, I think in, 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 in Vegas, Yeah. they have this big ball and this is full of screens and you can have a concert inside and it makes like a huge projection and stuff. Yeah. Should, it's supposed to be quite uh, astonishing, apparently. Yeah. So this was also not not bad. Just like you're surrounded Curved, by yeah. the screen, but you don't really know what to look at. <laughs> it's really difficult, but that's still right. cool. Yeah. So the sphere. Is... That's what it's called, and in, in, I think in Vegas, the sphere. Okay. And ancient well. Ooh, maybe we'll find the jigger as well again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And you a place where people can get water in Gavana's office. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Looks nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. And you put like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. The next one. Nice clothes. Yeah. Lee Hong Zhang's office of the commanding officer flourished for 40 years. With Lee Hong Zhang's transfer to the governor of Jili province at the boundary, the office was primarily engaged in military functions during the first period, compiling and training the Huai army, focusing on building up a group of traditional talented individuals. Yeah. It was later sent out on administrative issues, organizing the westernization movement, improving the nation's sea defense, managing diplomacy and recruiting a group of modern experts. Nevertheless, this seemingly prosperous office came to an end with the failure of the westernization movement and the death of Li Hongdang, showing that merely learning from the West without changing the corrupt and backward feudal dictatorship could not completely save the country. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so we are in a house now where there is, it's about the it's kind of uh, like administrative people kind of like a judicial system mm. back in the days where they had like several functions like uh, arresting suspects and convicting and executing criminals and having like a, a court system mm. and yeah some kind of administrative people when one man court? <laughs> One man court, yeah, probably like a, a judge or something. Oh, yeah. And uh, there's some old clothing as well here. Yeah, the you, judge kind of. They were wearing and boots and the clothes and uh, the, red the hat. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Beautiful. Very good. Okay, there's a picture of him. Yeah. So, yeah, it's quite confusing from time to time. Mm. There are many gates and different pathways. I think we are now back in the, in the center piece of the whole thing, but yeah. a little bit further down the line. Uh, this points towards where we started our trip at the gate. And I think this would be then the big hall or whatever. Mm. 
And uh, let's let's go back and look at the other one, right? The other side ones? Yeah, I think like yeah. we went in but, this one. Yeah. Now we can maybe go in this one. We feel all the same, but yeah, yeah. We all can. the same? We have mm, No. Let's see. Samping? Mm. It's like different animals. We bottled cat. Yeah, the tiger, the cat, the horse, the bull. Yeah. I'm sure you know, like all of them have different meanings when they're like in different clothes, you know? Mm. So yeah. they tell like the level of the person. Mm, yeah. And it's so apparently this Chile governor's office, the governor was elected by the emperor himself, selected, because it's basically surrounding the capital and is therefore more important than other province or governors. Do they also call it province? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think. So yeah. Mm. Same like now, Hebei surrounding Beijing. Yeah. Kind of. Mm. Yeah, these are stores. Yeah. <laughs> the new. Yeah. Hmm. You want a fan? No. Black tea. Interesting. Yeah, incense. I was wondering if I could find magnets. Magnets? There's another store. <laughs> what do they have? Oh, lots of fans. So many stamps. This is for making stamps? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Making stamps is a Chinese passion. Yeah. They like to have the red ink stamp and <laughs> smack it on some things. And if it doesn't have red ink, it's mm. not worth a lot. So yeah. The Baoding balls? Baoding balls, very famous. <laughs> uh, for Baoding is these balls, which you can wobble around in your hand. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, back to the stamping process. Um, when I came to China the first time, they asked me to do a medical check. And so I tried to do it, and I went to the doctor in Germany, and they did the medical check, and he gave me a blue stamp. And once I arrived in China, I get to go to the medical check again because it had a blue stamp and not a red stamp. What's that? That's a keychain. I think I'll ah, get it for myself. Okay. You think it's well made or it will fall apart? 
I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not it's heavy. Mm. Oh, look at this. It's for the hair. Yeah, but I don't have that type of hair. <laughs> but it will always stick. Mm? Right? No, okay. I don't have that one. It needs straight hair and longer. But uh, it is to keep the head, hair together up, right? Yes. Your hair will always stay together and up. And up. <laughs> Again, it's the gravity. Yeah. yeah. So this is the main one? Maybe, I don't know, maybe the main hall or... Really nice, so very nice. Didn't know it exists. Uh, because they closed that door, so we didn't know there is an like access to this. Yeah, to the next hall. So this introduced Beyond Military Academy. <laughs> Here. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, the greatest defense around the capital city. It used yeah. to be, uh, the beginning, since the beginning of Qing Dynasty. Mm. It's nice. Recently, we learned about this hairstyle of the Chinese people mm. that it is actually not the hairstyle of the Han people but from this Manzhou, like the uh, Manchurian, Manchurian kind of what is it, different Chinese tribe or Mongols or whatever. Mm. And um, so they forced them to wear this hairstyle. To be in, in order to uh, submit themselves to the new emperor, like with what is the Qing guy or whatever. Huh. I think this Qing was the last dynasty of the of yes. the Manzhou people. Yeah. Uh, can, yeah, and they introduced this hairstyle. This is actually a Qing hairstyle, and the, the normal Han Chinese people they would wear like they wouldn't because they cut the hair off like. Mm. Like they, they basically shave until here. Yeah. But the the Han people they wouldn't do it like this, but they had to do it to Submit. show their obedience to the new emperor. Yeah. Interesting. And then it entered their culture somehow through mm. that. Yeah. 